You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. It's time for us to stand together in goodness to revolt against the evil. Welcome to the Inner Peace Movement with your host, Gloria Cliffords. Let Gloria help you explore the techniques to resolve stressful issues in your life in order to preserve personal growth and happiness. Release negatives using methods that are tried and true. So please welcome the host of the Inner Peace Movement, Gloria Cliffords. Hello, everybody. And I hope you're experiencing a happy and healthy day, which becomes a challenge, I know, but we're going to work on that today. But right now, I would like everyone, just if you have anything in your lap, just put it down and give yourself a hug. It's very important to practice self-loving during times like this. And now I want you to expand that loving, appreciative hug out to all of the people that are out there working, helping us. Wow, today someone picked up the trash. <laughs> someone I know because he's the same person all the time. And, oh, I just, I couldn't believe, you know, how awful that must be right now because what's in the trash? <laughs> Everything with germs and but he's doing it, you know. So everyone out there who's helping, truck drivers who deliver food, uh, everyone out there who's brave enough to be working now. So give yourself a hug and expand it out to them. And I also want you to give a very loving, soothing hug to those who unfortunately have experienced people who are very sick or have died, give them our condolences and give them love because they need it the most. Uh, This is the Inner Peace Revolution. I am your host, Gloria Cliffords, and we're coming to you live on wherever you're listening, obviously. (laughs) So I'm not going to go through everything. But it's been a very interesting week. You know, first, I I have to talk about this. There's nothing I would normally talk about, but there are scams everywhere. There have always been scams. I mean, I've been victim to a couple of scams. (laughs) Uh, For example, robocalls. I'm getting more and more robocalls now, and I just learned, even if they say, press one to speak to someone and press two, to take you off the list. Don't press two (laughs) because they just put something into your computer so they can track where you go. Don't do it. Don't press anything. Um, A few years back, uh, (laughs) my computer wasn't working well. And I get a call and they say they're from, uh, where was it? Apple or I forgot where. And they said, oh, we just got a signal that your computer is not working well. Uh, But we can fix it. And I really needed my computer. So they talked me out of $300. And amazingly, the next morning, it was fixed. And I was so happy. And then about a, a week later, it totally crashed because... They had installed some kind of virus into my computer, and I paid them for it. Scams, watch out for them. Let me tell you now, I mean, these are evil people. Right now, um, there's one particularly terrible. If someone knocks on your door and tells you 
you are qualified to be tested for coronavirus, first, don't open the door <laughs> at all. <coughs> Excuse me. Do not open that door because these have turned into home invasion robberies. That's how they get you to open the door because people do want to be tested and it's convenient if they're doing it at home. And you hear more and more, they're doing testing, it's expanding. Do not open that door. You shouldn't have guests or visitors anyway at this time. Um, I have recently, more than ever, you know, these scammers, they know people are ordering online and Amazon is probably the main source for everything. So I get these emails and looks like it's from Amazon. They look really legit. <laughs> and then they say, someone may have stolen your password. So we need to verify <laughs> your information. And stupidly, I click on it, but I'm looking. They want your name. They want everything, your phone number. I'm saying this is weird because they have all that information. They want your social security number. Now, don't give your social security number to anyone. It's uh, it's foolish, especially these days. Um, and then, of course, somebody, I didn't give it out, but Somebody has been ordering uh, free stuff. I don't know, free stuff on my Amazon account that I never ordered, but I got that taken care of. Uh, oh, vaccines at home. That's another one. Hey, we have the vaccine so that you don't get the coronavirus. And, you know, the government's paying and <laughs> we're here uh, to help you out. It's a scam. Don't listen. Don't listen. Don't do it. And something else, uh, you know, over the past few weeks, if you've been listening, I have had a cold, a slight cough, and forgive me if I sniffle or cough. And I couldn't understand it. I knew I didn't have coronavirus. I've been so careful, and I take my temperature <laughs> just to make sure. And uh, I started to think back that actually I think I did a show on this early on about body syndromes. And these are psychological problems that just come out through different parts of our body. So I've been cold and cough and a little bit of a sore throat at times. And I realized it's a body syndrome. I'm not sick. I'm psychologically making myself sick. That particular body syndrome is called crying syndrome. And it comes from indecision. We can't decide what should we do? What could we do? And of course, we are all going through indecision uh, these days. So be aware of your body and be aware of people who might be trying to rip you off. It's very important, but I want to go on to actually some more serious stuff than scams, which is pretty serious, which is our bodies. I mean, right now, you're probably feeling tension in your neck, uh, your shoulders, maybe your arms. Yes, it could be because we're sitting around much too much, much more than usual or even sitting at a computer, um, that's called responsibility syndrome. And we feel pressure of responsibility, but we don't know what to do about it. And, you know, again, it could be simply physical, uh, but often it's emotional and it comes out in that part of our body. Arms, wrists, hands, if they're bothering you, it could be what we call reaching syndrome. We're trying to reach for something, but we can't because we're stuck here, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> and it's very frustrating. Uh, we may have a goal, but we feel like we're stuck and we can't do it. And we often feel that in our shoulders. 
Uh, you're listening to the Inner Peace Revolution, and we're going to open the lines up today. So if you want to call in and talk about what you're going through, the number is 866-451-1451. I am your host, Gloria Clifford's. And we will be back in just a little while. Escape from Hell, A Woman's Story is a passionate book that tells the true story of author Rhonda Knudsen's journey through the darkness and adversity of abuse. The book takes readers on an emotional trail from the depths of despair to the heights of forgiveness and understanding. She was inspired to help others, and her book is a vital tool through this process. Faithful to God and devotional to her beacon of hope, Rhonda Knudsen is a perfect example of finding a guiding light that helped her come through the dark and into the light. Her book can assist you in overcoming your challenges with abuse. The publication of Escape from Hell, A Woman's Story, is a triumphant achievement, and it can help you take ownership of your own experience of abuse and come through stronger than before. Rhonda is currently working on two more books, Shadows of Corruption and Coast to Coast on a Piece of Toast. To read more about this inspiring author and purchase her books, visit RhondaKnutson.com or go to www.amazon.com. Introducing BetterHomeAndGarden.com. That's www.betterhomeandgarden.com with just the letter N in Better Home and Garden. BetterHomeAndGarden.com offers you the highest quality products on the market that are environmentally safe and effective, and to make them available to you at the lowest possible prices. BetterHomeAndGarden.com understands that kind of creativity and do-it-yourself attitude. Thus, we developed our website, BetterHomeAndGarden.com. BetterHomeAndGarden.com offers you the following products right online. Bath, bedding, collectibles, craft, sewing and hobby, food and beverage, furniture, home decor, kitchen and dining, lamps and lighting, large appliances, musical instruments, outdoor cooking, patio items, pet supplies, plant and garden, rug and floor covering, small appliances, travel and luggage, and so much more. Better Home and Garden is an online retailer offering a wide variety of high-quality brand name merchandise at discount prices. Our service is personal and we aim to please. Visit us at www.betterhomeandgarden.com. Make your home your own. Hello, and welcome back to the Inner Peace Revolution. I am your host, Gloria Clifford, and we were talking about body syndromes. These are things that we feel in our body, but the cause is emotional. So we were just talking about reaching (laughs) syndrome, which affects our shoulders, our arms, our hands. And now let's go to our legs now, (laughs) your upper legs, uh, your knees, your lower legs, ankles, feet, toes. If you're having a problem, yes, it could be because you're not moving enough. (laughs) And uh, please move. It's very important for our health, mental and physical. But it also is a feeling that we can't escape. We can't get ahead. We want to walk out of this situation, but we can't. And that often does cause that feeling can cause problems in your legs, knees, feet, etc. So don't think you suddenly have a bad case of arthritis. You know, <laughs> try walking. It will help, uh, even if it's in your home. Um. You know, this is, we think of this as the worst thing, and it's worldwide. And really, we're just learning about this. But before any of this happened, (laughs) I remember speaking with people and friends and clients about how terrible the world was. (laughs) And now, I can't even remember why. (laughs) So, if you can remember, please... uh, Give us a call at 866-451-1451. Now, I want to work with all of you now on ways to help us relax. And we've done that before, but I'm going to start with the simplest ways. And the first one is breathing. And the natural way to breathe is the way a baby breathes. If you've ever watched a new baby, they breathe all the way into their stomach. And as adults, we usually breathe higher up in our lungs. 
So right now, please try to do that. It may take a little practice. We knew when we were babies how to do it naturally. But please, take a deep breath all the way into your stomach. And now exhale. And let's do this again. And this time we're going to do it to a count of four. So inhaling into your stomach. Two, three, four. And hold it. Two, three, four. And exhale. And just allow your body to relax. Because as your body relaxes, your mind relaxes. And when your mind relaxes, your body relaxes. And it's interesting that babies do this naturally. There are so many things that we can learn just by watching babies. And another one is spirituality. You know, newborn babies, they always have a glow. It's almost like a heavenly glow. <laughs> and I really believe it is. So I don't know. Who do you turn to? What do you turn to when you don't have the solution? So we're going to speak a little bit about spiritualities. And if you have a religion, fantastic if it helps you, great. This will not interfere with any of your beliefs. But if not, um, we need to really think about this. What makes us stronger? What beliefs make us stronger? What beliefs give us ideas? Help us emotionally, physically. I know I turn to God and <laughs> I think talked about this new form of affirmation last week. Why is it that God always inspires me when I need it? I do that before every show. <laughs> Why is it that God makes me feel better? And we say, why is it that? Because your conscious mind has to think about that. And then it goes into your subconscious, which is associated with heart and spirit. But whatever you believe in, you don't believe in God, whatever higher power, there is a force <laughs> that's larger than we are. And just know, knowing that we are like a little dot <laughs> in the universe, even smaller than a dot. <laughs> And we're part of something larger will help us. Now, I want you to know this is very normal to have various emotions. A lot of us are angry. We could be angry at God or whoever we believe or whatever we believe uh, creates everything. We feel broken, uh, shattered. And I remember times in my life, <laughs> actually before I became very spiritual, where I was, I felt like I had lost so much. I had lost my job. I had lost my boyfriend. <laughs> I lost my father recently at that time. And I wanted out of here. I was just destroyed and one day I was just, I couldn't move. I was paralyzed. Uh, I just couldn't do anything except cry. And <laughs> you're going to think I'm really nuts if you don't already, but <laughs> this amazing thing happened. I was laying down in bed, but it seemed like somebody else sat up and looked down at me. And she looked like an old time prostitute that you might find at a truck stop, you know, big red hair, red lipstick. And I was just amazed. I was in shock. I asked her who she was and she said, oh, I'm your astral soul, which I had never, ever heard of. And 
but <laughs> I took her word for it. I didn't know if it was real, if it was my imagination. Uh, I was really shattered. But that's when I became spiritual. And we will be right back uh, again. This is the Inner Peace Revolution. I'm Gloria Clifford, your host. Have you ever felt like no one is listening or you're not getting the honest attention you deserve? Do you even know the kind of attention you want or need? You are not alone. Alice Aspen March is here to help. Thanks to Alice, through her epiphany and research over the word attention, there are solutions to the attention dilemma. Worldwide audiences have been enthralled and engaged for over 40 years with her visionary and pioneering observations. The kind of attention we get and give is vital to improving our lives and society. Alice and her weekly guests review game-changing insights for transforming and improving our understanding of attention, providing techniques for creating healthier and empowering behavior. Get a new perspective on a mainstream word. Tune into Why Our Attention Matters for fresh and thought-provoking conversations every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern on BoldBraveMedia.com and the TuneIn Radio app. There are artists and then there's Alice Asmar. This award-winning artist has spent her entire life devoted to her artistic pursuits and has had a lifelong fascination with American Indians of the southwestern United States. Her book, Dance to the Great Spirit, showcases her drawings and paintings inspired by sacred rituals of the Pueblo Indians and four of her lithographs graphs are in permanent collection at the National Museum of American History and the Smithsonian Institution in Washington, D.C. She is one of four artists in the United States to win a Woolley Fellowship for study in Paris at Le Colde Beaux-Arts and has been featured in numerous publications. She's exhibited at the world's most prestigious museums and galleries and recently won a 20-year service award from the Burbank City Council and the inaugural art competition of the Foundation of the United States in Paris. Visit www.asmar.com art.com www.aliceasmarinternational.com and email alice at aliceasmar at aol.com and welcome back to the inner peace revolution i am your maybe insane host <laughs> gloria clifford and before the break uh i was telling you about my astral soul who showed up <laughs> Just at the weirdest time, and it was so strange because I'm telling you, she did look like a hooker. She had these big earrings and big, big red hair and <laughs> lipstick, and I didn't know what was going on, but actually, I didn't care because I was really thinking about committing suicide at that point. She showed up and kind of saved me, and that's when... I really started to become a very spiritual person. And I was thinking about this. I haven't thought about this in years, but yesterday it came to mind. And it was very strange. Uh, later, I learned they're kind of like guardian angels, but they're different uh, in some way. I don't even understand the way astral souls. If anyone knows, please call me. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and she basically kicked me out of bed. <laughs> she said, get up. And I was so scared. I got up. <laughs> and immediately I started to feel a little better. And she said, march around your room and say yes to life. <laughs> and I followed her instructions. But thinking about this, I realized that so many people feel so much loss at this time, uh, as I did then. Um, I decided to listen. I always do this anyway, uh, every week. I listen to several broadcasts, websites, whatever, um, but I was really looking for one that was going to talk about spirituality. And lo and behold, I opened my email and I'm invited to this workshop uh, by a woman called Claire Zamet. And it's Z-A-M-I-T-T -T, if you want to check her out. So I listened to it. It's amazing how these things come when you need it. 
And she was doing different exercises to help us with our spirituality. And she talked also about a time when she was totally broken, broken. And (laughs) that's when she became a spiritual being. So um, this is a time, one thing that you can do and should do is journal. Now, I journal as a habit always, but for the past week, again, I felt stuck and I realized I hadn't been journaling. One thing I've wanted to do, actually, I've got two different books in my head, (laughs) which I have never really started to write, but I started to journal just about my day and how I was feeling and it suddenly turned into a long couple of pages, which were ideas that I want to put in my book. (laughs) So, of course, it's not going to happen the first time. You may just write a word or a sentence, but it helps us to get our emotions out and put them on paper. So please do that. And besides, when you look back on it and put the date on it, You look back when everything is better, and it will be, because we have to have faith. (laughs) And you'll be able to see what you were feeling, what you were going through, and how great your life is now, the future now, (laughs) if not the present now. I'm happy I'm laughing, because I wasn't laughing (laughs) before. (laughs) But, uh, and I hope you're laughing, too. You can laugh at me. (laughs) It's fine. (laughs) People laugh at my laugh a lot, so have fun. So journaling is really helpful. Now, another thing that we can do, and this fills our spirit too, what is it that you've always wanted to do but you haven't had time for? And I'm going to start tomorrow, actually, uh, drawing and painting. Uh, my father was a really great artist. Uh, I <laughs> never was. I could draw a palm tree with coconuts on an island because he taught me how. <laughs> but I don't have much art ability. Uh, my my son inherited some. Somehow it skipped me. But I always wanted to do it. And I would just maybe start something and give up because it looks so bad. But... I'm going to start again, starting tomorrow with whatever I have in the house. I may have to use makeup. (laughs) I don't have many art supplies, but whatever it is, uh, do it. If it's something you really want to do, you're home. Nobody's listening. Maybe you've always wanted to sing, (laughs) sing, singing, music, dancing, always gets us closer to spirit. It brings out the spirit within us. So it's a great time to develop talents and abilities and whatever our desires, things we wanted to do and we didn't think were possible uh, that also enhance our spirit. And as you're doing this, you're going to be thinking about what you're doing or not thinking about anything In that moment, it's really important to stay in the moment when you do this. Um, So I hope really think about what is it, even as a child, you know, I wanted to be a princess when I grew up (laughs) or a bride. Sometimes I wanted to be a teacher and I became a teacher. I would force other kids to sit in my classroom (laughs) don't remember what I taught, but when you're doing things like this, remember imagination has the word magic in it. So use your imagination. Use this time to push you forward. Maybe you'll find what you're really born to do. Who knows? You may even Find a new occupation, doing what you really love. If you don't have one already that you really love, all of this gives us power. 
So we're going to do just a few exercises today. We just did breathing. And another simple one is just to sit. Uh, I usually sit in a chair. Uh, you can sit anywhere. You know, in Buddhism, people just sit on the ground. And uh, transcendental med meditation, they don't speak. <laughs> they just sit, and they call it sitting. So right now, you can sit. You can lay down. Just be comfortable. And I want you to... Put your attention on your feet. Are you wearing shoes? What are your feet on? On a carpet, on a floor? If you have a backyard, maybe grass? And what are you sitting on? How does it feel? Use all of your senses. How does it feel? What does it look like with your eyes closed using your imagination and memory? And just all of your body. How does it feel? And we'll come back to this in just a little while. And please remain comfortable and sitting. <laughs> and we'll be back after the break. Baby boomers face many challenges, and sometimes you have to reinvent yourself in order to stay on top. Sharon Ball, nurse practitioner and Christian life and wellness coach, can help. Sharon has written a book called Reinventing Yourself Today, and it can help you through the pangs of changing the course of your life. Whether you are looking to stay on track with new goals, a sensible program to help you shed unwanted pounds, or a full kick-butt life reinvention, Sharon can work with you. Follow your passions and live each day according to your dreams and free yourself from the expectations of others. Sharon comes from the heart and shares her own personal journey to reinvention with her clients. Other self-help books inspired her, but few gave her the steps to improve her life, so she created a plan that works. Stress no more. Let Sharon Ball open the door. Sign up for a complimentary life reinvention consultation today at tinyurl.com forward slash get started for free for more of what life has in store. Mike Zorick, a three-time California state champion in Greco-Roman wrestling at 114 pounds. Mike, blind since birth, was born in Hartford, Connecticut. He was a six-time national placer, including two seconds, two-thirds, and two-fourths. He also won the Veterans Folk Style Wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit, whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the BBM Global Network. Okay. And if you're still sitting, you should be more relaxed because you're focusing on right now, not what could happen or might happen, just focusing on now, where you're sitting, how it feels, how it looks. And that should also, it's an easy way to be more calm relaxed and peaceful. Now, this is another uh, exercise that comes from uh, neuro-linguistic programming partially. But you can just stay relaxed and scan your body. And if there's any place that feels tense or hurting, you might just put your hands on it. When I think about what's going on, which I do my best not to do, 
I feel it in my body. I feel it in my heart area. But everybody's different. So you might feel it somewhere else. And you might want to put your hands on that area. In fact, before you do, rub your hands together. Just rub them together over and over and over again, over and over, and then just part them slightly, and you will feel the energy between them. And use that energy to heal yourself. And then put your hands on that area that's bothering you. And with your imagination, give that area a color. Any color that you choose that you might associate with pain. And now draw an outline around it. And just imagine, imagine that it's getting smaller and smaller. The boundaries get smaller and smaller and they're barely there. And that pain is gone. So take a deep breath. Let it go, breathe it out. I usually breathe out a dark color. And take a deep breath and inhale. Light, a soothing, wonderful light, your special color, your special light that belongs to you. Some people say breathe in white or pink, but from my experience, I found often it could depend on the culture. But different people see colors in different ways, you know, like we have expressions like red with anger or embarrassment. Does that, is that a color that makes you relax? I was surprised to find out that in many Asian cultures it is. Uh, but, you know, you choose your own lights the most soothing light that you can imagine. And imagine it coming from the universe, from God, from Mother Mary, whatever you believe in, uh, Mother Earth, whatever you believe in. That light is at your disposal to help you feel much better. Now, there are so many things that we can do to make ourselves feel better. So let's say you were planning to take a vacation and you can't go because you can't take a plane anywhere. Uh, you might be able to drive depending on where it is, but... Who are you going to visit? I mean, where are you going to stay? A lot of hotels are closed. But we can take a vacation always in our mind. Because our mind is always at our disposal. We just have to know how to use it and use it well. So in my case, I would love to be someplace tropical on a beach, but you could be anywhere that makes you peaceful. And in my <laughs> imagination, I'm on this very soft, powdery, white sand. And I can feel myself almost sink deeper and deeper into the sand, but very safe and secure. The sand is warm and soothing. And the water, it's such a beautiful blue and so clean that I could look down and see my feet and see fish and coral and beautiful tropical things. And it's warm. And I really love to float because this is gentle water, no big waves, just soft rolling waves. And I just imagine floating. And if you float, you realize 
you're not standing, you're not controlling it. Actually, you're giving it up to the ocean, to the sea. Now, when you're imagining your special place or where you were going to go on vacation or your next trip or a place you've been, use all of your senses. How does it feel? How does it look? Is there a sound? And as you're there, focusing on your imaginary now, it takes you away from any pain or stress that you're feeling. And I'm going to draw that <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe blue eyeshadow. <laughs> I don't know. But this is Gloria Cliffords. You're listening to the Inner Peace Revolution, and we will be back shortly. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of the Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, Hope, and Support for Caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Animal lover, author, artist, and public speaker, Patricia Daly Life is a Renaissance woman in her own right. A lover of animals from a young age, Patricia lives on a farm in Virginia and has rescued neglected thoroughbred horses keeping them or finding them safe havens. She is also a published author, and her books document real-life experiences that she shares in her passionate stories, taking the reader around the world in a colorful kaleidoscope of life. An accomplished artist, Patricia Daly Life's oil paintings feature animals, portraits, stills, nature, and abstract, and she allows the brush to paint the image in an organic, natural way. A public speaker, Patricia is motivated to continually wonder about life and advocates for all of us to do the same and document our own unique history. To learn more about Patricia Daly Life, visit www.literarylady.com and www.patricialife.com or email her at pdlife at gmail.com. Oh, welcome back. You're listening to the Inner Peace Revolution. I am your host, Gloria Cliffords, and we're working with imagination right now. So maybe there's a place you've never been, but you want to go there. You can actually use your computer, look it up, see the images, see what's to do there, and then imagine it in your mind. This is something else we learn from babies. Babies have a natural curiosity about everything. So be curious, wonder, check it out, learn. And make sure it's not something really negative. <laughs> like I wouldn't recommend checking out a war, right now. But something positive, something that you really wonder about. Maybe rainbows. <laughs> I, I wonder about rainbows. I'll have to check it out. And you're doing something. You're busy doing something. So you are involved in that research or memory or whatever. And that's it. That's where you are. You're not thinking about any negatives at all. So use your natural wonder and imagination and learn when you're learning something new. Again, it takes you away. You know, you can read a really good book. Uh, it takes you away. <laughs> uh, hopefully not a very depressing book, but any good book, uh, 
that you might have wanted to or listening to. You know, I like to listen to books on on tape, audio books. Uh, it's great. It keeps you there wherever you are, whatever you're listening to, whatever you're reading, whatever you're researching. Keep your mind busy because when you're keeping your mind busy, it disrupts negativity. And that's what we need to do in times like this is disrupt our negative thinking and negative feelings. So think about where you've never been. Maybe you would like to live in space someday. <laughs> Do a little research. Get a picture in your mind. And then close your eyes and imagine you were really there. I got my grandson a book recently. He's seven. <laughs> and, you know, he can read somewhat. So it was an easy book, but... Everything in it was, what would you do? <laughs> or where would you rather? What would you rather do? So one of the questions was, would you rather live on the moon or live on the sun? What would you rather do? And he was very smart. <laughs> he chose the moon. Because <laughs> then he could moonwalk. Like Michael Jackson, because <laughs> you have to give a reason. And if I chose the sun, I would burn up. <laughs> and it's true. But, you know, it's just an example of wondering and thinking about things, creative thinking. So we need to focus on what we can do. Things we've never done before. What would you rather do than just sit around and worry? <laughs> I'd rather be right here with you because I'm laughing <laughs> now. Uh, be careful about what you watch on TV if you're becoming a couch potato. <laughs> and make sure you get up uh, every commercial break. Get up, walk around, stretch, do whatever. <laughs> It will help you. Now, if you could see a higher power, and some people already have an image of what that might be, see it. Talk to it. If you pray, you can pray. But pray knowing that your prayers will be answered. I like to do what I call positive prayer in that I don't even ask. I thank. I always thank God for healing the world because you're showing faith and appreciation all at the same time that way. But, you know, if you don't have an image already, imagine, here we go again, image, imagine. All these words have M-A-G-I, magic in them. And we're capable of magic. Um, I'm going to give a plug to <laughs> some, some group I'm really, uh, I'm really into called Mind Valley. And it's very cool. Uh, I've been with them now for several years. But just look up Mind Valley. They will send you positive things every single day. Learning things, things that you can learn, new things about mind, your mind, the power of your mind, uh, different ways to keep your body healthy. They have great teachers, great speakers. So, I, you know, that's usually what they send. And it's free. They send it every day for free for about a year. <laughs> and then you, you pay if you want more. But you can get a year every day something positive. This is a perfect time to start doing that. There are so many interesting things. Uh, Mind Valley, 
uh, is great. So today I open up my email. You're invited to a dance party. <laughs> I'm going, oh, great. So they're doing a virtual dance party. Unfortunately, they're in Kuala Lumpur. <laughs> There's a big time difference. And here in California, it's going to be at nine in the morning. So <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to participate, but I regularly just dance around the house. When you dance, when you move to music, it takes you away. So we may not be able to leave, but we can always go away in our minds. So please do that. And we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Author, radio show host, and coach, John M. Hawkins, reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, Unlock Your Full Potential with Limitless Growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins, My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we are back to the Inner Peace Revolution. Again, I am your host, Gloria Cliffords. Uh, you've probably heard the expression, where there's a will, there's a way. And there is a way. You know, I'm a hypnotherapist. Uh, I cannot see clients in person right now. But I can use my iPhone. <laughs> and they use theirs or sometimes on Skype. Uh, so if you need help, if you're really having a hard time getting through this, I suggest two things. A couple of weeks ago, I did a show which is archived, but just... Many things that you can do and ways you can teach your kids, creative ways, fun ways. <laughs> and that's, uh, I think it's, it's a good show to re-listen to because it'll give you many more ideas. I'm going to give you my information right now. I am not charging and I have other people who also are just volunteering time to help in this challenging time. So you can call me at 818-818-5040. That's 818-818-5040. Or you can email me at Gloria Clifford's, no dot, Gloria Cliffords at gmail.com. Gloria Cliffords at gmail.com. And let's be in touch because you shouldn't give, give pass bypass opportunities, especially when they're free. This is an opportunity for you to feel better. So right now, since we're coming to an end soon, Everyone, please take another deep breath, like a baby, into your belly, and hold it. Two, three, four, and exhale. And have your body relax, because as your body relaxes, your mind relaxes, and vice versa. And live in wonder. I want to remind you that. And watch out for scams. Uh, we will be back next week. And maybe we'll have good news, better news by then. I would like all of you, when you're done, get up. Put on your favorite music 
move around, dance. Let the music carry you. Just flow with the music. Use your imagination. Again, it's magic. Do some research. Try something you've never tried before. Or something you've always wanted to do. As just a wrap up to the show, a reminder. And, you know, what I really would like to do is hug and kiss my grandchildren. I cannot, but we give ourselves virtual hugs and kisses when we're on iPhone with each other. I get to see them at least. Sometimes we have to just make do. But I smile for a long time after that, so smile. And when you're feeling insecure, give yourself a hug. Pass it on to others who really could use it. So I believe it was last week's show, near the beginning, I I talked about something I actually got, got an email about, and it was just beautiful. I've gotten so many positive comments on it. There was a caterpillar who thought the earth was ending. But just when she thought the earth was ending, she turned into a butterfly. So be a butterfly. (laughs) And again, this is the Inner Peace Revolution. I'm your host, Gloria Cliffords, and we will be back with you next week. This has been the Inner Peace Movement with host Gloria Cliffords. Gloria says by working together, we can overcome evil and replace it with good in the world. Please join us each week for Gloria Clifford's The Inner Peace Movement. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company. 